Welcome. Thank you for your interest in these events. I'm Oscar Robles, and I'm going to talk about what you may find, or at least the first part, what you can find at La Clinique. What you can find at our events. So the idea is we want you to know what LACNIC is, what you can find at the events in general terms, how you can make the most of them. Can you adjust uh, audio? Can you hear well? Yes? Okay. Okay. So, as I was telling you, we want you to know what LACNIC is. We want you to know what you can find at the events. We are going to walk you through the agenda. So depending on what you're interested in, you can make the most of the event and know the, diff the various uh, uh, possibilities uh, of uh, collaboration. Some of you may come to LACNIC as uh, your first LACNIC meeting, and you may be more interested in tutorials and training. Well, today you're going to have a very broad range of tutorials, but not just today. On Friday, too, we have tutorials. There's, there are different sessions, more of uh, uh, exchanging experience and more operational uh, exchange of information. And the LAC Peering Forum, too, is uh, in parallel. So let me tell you first what LACNIC is and what we do. LACNIC is an international uh, Organization. It's a non-profit organization that uh, was established in Montevideo more than 20 years ago, and we manage the IP addresses, IPv4, IPv6, and the ASNs. You may know that all of the devices have an IP, so those addresses are administered uh, regionally, and regionally we provide services to Latin America and the Caribbean, uh, 33 territories, and uh, the Telmex, the Claros, the big operators. Uh, it, it sounds, uh, my, my audio sounds uh, uh, strange up here. So, uh, as I was telling you, the big operators request uh, LACNIC for resources and uh, they assign uh, those resources to uh, their clients, but not just the big operators, but also small and medium-sized ISPs. The smallest ISP in Oaxaca or in uh, uh, the uh, plains in Argentina or the uh, uh, um, Amazonia, they request LACNIC uh, resources. Sometimes they are rented because of the scarcity, sc scarcity of IPv4, but those that have space assigned by LACNIC are our members. Today, we have over um, 11,000 uh, of such uh, organizations that have LACNIC resources. So together with this function that is so specific of uh, managing a registry, so who to see who has each IP, who's the holder of each IP. In addition to that, we have to define the rules for those services. Who do we assign space to? Who not to assign space? What are the rules they have to uh, abide by to keep the service? And you can participate in uh, the construction of such rules. Of course, today they are quite comprehensive already. And uh, what we change is that we make uh, little adjustments. We call them policies. It's the IP resource uh, uh, assignment policies. In addition to the uh, to uh, policy building, we have spaces for training, the const for building capacity, and we want the rules to be defined uh, as informed uh, and uh, with the greatest technical support. Sometimes the rules are 
quite general and you don't need to have such a, an in-depth uh, technical knowledge but you do need operational knowledge so we we want to have the people responsible for the various networks academic or operators small isps community isps and network and uh, and government networks to participate in uh, the drafts of drafting of those rules but the uh, some may find it quite boring uh, to draft uh, the the rules and they may not uh, see the benefits although it's a very nice uh, activity because we work together for this uh, which is not the case of our parliaments but this is open and it works for 33 territories the problem is that not necessarily everybody benefits so how can we build a space where everybody can benefit directly as they collaborate in defining those rules well it is for that uh, those purposes that we have other spaces training interaction networking collaboration with other entities the presenting technical um, and, um, studies for information purposes creation of human networks to favor their own business all that may be found at this event thanks to the range of activities that we offer so together with uh, LACNIC who is in charge of Latin America and the Caribbean some countries of the Caribbean there are other four regional registries uh, and uh, we share this collaboration with the four of them to maintain uh, an orderly assignment of uh, internet addresses in Africa it's Afrinic in Europe it's RIPE and CC North America is ARIN and uh, Asia Pacific is APNIC so what uh, the vision and the mission of LACNIC is to build a regional community to for a, glo a better global internet specifically but we have to work in our regions to indeed be, uh, make uh, get uh, an adequate development of LACNIC and that is why we travel to come closer to you uh, with these events you may come from very distant places but the primary purpose is to approach the various regions of our larger region first of all to get to know each other, to know about your challenges, but also to bring you information, uh, training, and uh, opportunities for networking that are typical of our events. So that is the key benefit of uh, these uh, um, events uh, that take place in uh, different uh, parts of the region. What can you find in an event in general terms? I already gave you an overview of the range of things that you can find not only can you learn about the rules of our services but also a permanent uh, community building uh, activity through the spaces you're going to interact with many of your colleagues with some of whom you didn't uh, meet that you hadn't you had never met or you may have met a person five years ago at LACNIC. Some, some uh, of those acquaintances may hire you for your, for, and uh, that will uh, build up your future. You end up uh, doing business together or, or you can create an association to improve the internet in the region. So that is all part of the community building process that we seek. And uh, all that results not only in a better internet, but also a better society in the region there are different tracks in the event there are different topics that you can find let me start from the bottom the the bottom of the slide as I was telling you LACNIC is an international association it's a legal person that uh, was established in uh, Uruguay and as such it needs to be transparent it needs to go through a lot of uh, stat to abide by the statutes and one of them is the members uh, assembly where as administrators we uh, 
are accountable to the members. Many of you may be LECNIC members and you have the right to hear how we manage the resources and to hear what kind of activities we conduct for the benefit of uh, our members, but also the extended community. Not only do we see the members as the main focus, but you, the extended community, because sooner or later that will result in the benefit of the members and uh, the general interest. So policy development, I already told you that we work hard on this. It's the rules I mentioned earlier. That is also part of the pr uh, tracks that you'll see at this event. A space for the debate and uh, knowledge uh, construction as here you'll listen to uh, research uh, or uh, somebody can uh, report on an interesting solution or uh, um, a serendipitous solution to a problem that may be of benefit to the rest of the colleagues who can learn how to solve some problems. Technical um, uh, training, workshops, tutorials, and of course, it's a platform for encounters. At least two or three additional spaces, the Lack Peering form Forum, the CSERT uh, 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 groups that are meeting um, uh, in parallel, because despite the complexity and the sophistication of technology, we need to create an interpersonal uh, a trustworthy uh, community to address cyber security issues. So the group is also meeting in parallel, and those are the kind of activities that are taking on at these events. Now I'm going to give the floor to Laura. I thank you for your attention, and I wish you a highly productive week. We also want you to have fun. That's part of the process. Make many new friends, and I hope that we can see you at a future meeting. Meetings. Thank you. I'm Laura Kaplan, I'm, and uh, I walk you through the event. I wanted to uh, tell you how to make the most of the event, how to participate. We have two ways. There are people that now that are watching us from home via Zoom, and of course, those of us who are here in person. Those are the two modalities that you can participate. For those of us here, the week of the event will occur here at the convention center. All the meetings are going to be here at different rooms. This is the plenary session. Lunch is also going to be served here at the convention center. And now I'll tell you a bit more about the social events. For those of you who are uh, online, you're going to be at Zoom Eventos. There you have a lobby. And then when you go to the sessions, you may connect with the rest of the people who are connected uh, virtually. You may chat and you may participate in the Discord um, uh, platform that is available for people who are online and uh, in person. Many of you may have been part of uh, the grants uh, program or you came here because you are going to speak or to participate. That's another way you can participate at the event. Now we're going to tell you about the technical forum that's going to uh, be held on Tuesday and Thursday. And many of you may have presented a paper and have been selected or maybe you applied for a, a community grant and that's why you are here. Let me give you some general information. Those who are here already registered for the event. The event will be open throughout the week as from 8 in the morning every day. Lunch will be held here at the convention center in rooms 5 and 6. I will show you a map. This is when you go out towards the left every day. This afternoon, once the sessions are over, we'll be having a welcome cocktail. The welcome cocktail will not be in the convention center, but at the Hyatt Hotel, which is a street away in the terrace at 7 p.m. All those of you who are here in person are invited to participate in the welcome cocktail, and you can also continue meeting other colleagues and 
networking. On Wednesday, we have a social event. Once the day sessions are over, we'll have this social event at Quinta Montes Molina. It is not very far away, and the information is available in their website. You can. It is at walking distance, and this is at 8 p.m. And for the most brave and those who like outdoor activities, we have a runners group. For many years now, we have runners who get up at 6 a.m. Uh, at, get up early in the morning and meet at 6 a.m. at the entrance of the hotel. The person in charge of coordinating this is Alicia Succhetti, who will be guiding everyone to the Paseo de Montejo. So we're telling you about the layout of this conference room. We're now in the plenary room, which is rooms three and four next door. Our rooms five and six where lunch will be held. There are other three rooms in this floor, and then there are, if you go up the escalator, there are more rooms upstairs. You will see that the coffee break will be held outside this room. We have the exhibit also outside here. We invite you to visit all the booths and speak to our sponsors. In addition to that, on the right going out, you have Lacknick's booth, and you can go there to ask questions on issues related to LACNIC. This is the agenda of the event, which is available in their website. Now, let me give you an overview of the sessions. Today is a day which will be dedicated to tutorials. Today we'll be have, having five different tutorials. One will be held in this room, which is the one on IPv6. Parallel to that, we have LACNIC Peering Forum. This is a parallel event. Basically, this is for all those who are interested in peering issues. On Tuesday, tomorrow, we'll have the formal opening session of the event. First, we have a cybersecurity event followed by the opening session. After that, we have LACNIC's technical forum and all the technical topics that Oscar was referring to in his opening will be held throughout the day. On Wednesday morning, this is very important, we have a session called Internet in Mexico, Present and Future. During that session, this will be a debate. This will not be broadcast. It will be dedicated to discuss challenges and opportunities for the internet in Mexico. So all the locals here from Mexico are welcome to participate. And those of us who are not from Mexico will can use this as a great opportunity to discuss ideas that work in other countries too. So this will be a very interesting session, which we invite you to participate in. Now, following the morning break, we have the public policy forum where the res people responsible, the organization responsible for assigning resources. These are assigned based on rules. The rules are defined in the public policy forum. So all those of you who operate networks should participate in this forum because there is where we define changes or incorporations to the policy manual. In the afternoon, we have the members assembly for all those of you who are LACNIC members. And on Thursday, we have a technical forum. We'll have a BOF on measurements. This is something new. And parallel to that, on Wednesday and Thursday, we have the RISE training conference. On Friday, we'll have more tutorials and a whole session dedicated to LACNOG. And then after the final break, we'll have the closing ceremony. And this is to give you an overview of the tutorials which we'll be having today. There will be a tutorial on the use of MILACNIC, particularly the security model, RPKI and RIR for networks. And on Friday, the two remaining ones, which are the essential tools for the good operations of the autonomous systems. So if you need further, further guidance, please address members of the staff or at the registration desk. As I said, we have a parallel activity that will be taking place which now, which is a LACNIC ping forum. This is regarding 
network interconnections and seeks to promote local exchange between peers. This is organized by LACIX and LACNOG and Council LACNIX and Internet Society support this morning. They are going to have an uh, informal round of meetings this afternoon. They will have some presentations, and this is highly recommended to those who are professionals on issues related to IXP and interconnections. LACNIC's technical forum will take place on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday. The technical forum is LACNIC's space which is made available so that the community shares experiences, work, and initiatives related to technical issues related to the development of the Internet in the region. We have 22 presentations. Some will have to do with measurements, IoT, security, BGP, and remote peering. This, as I said, will take place on Tuesday and on Thursday. For those who are following us online, we'll be able to watch all the presentations virtually and you also have the opportunity to ask questions in the Q&A. The Public Policy Forum, as I said, is a space where we'll be discussing the policy proposals that modify the manual or the policy development process itself. Participation in the Public Policy Forum is not just for anyone who wishes to participate, but it is also very important. It is desirable that the entire community and members participate in this event. It is here where we define the rules on how to operate and on how the number resources and the IP addresses are assigned. On Wednesday the 10th, we will be having the Policy Forum. There are five proposals that are being discussed. I can mention these, but you can read these in the website, namely various changes to the PDP, clarifying the impact analysis, clarifying consensus, resource management for recovering critical infrastructure, and including IPv6 in the text of Section 5 of the manual. So, all those who are interested in policies are invited to participate in this space. On Wednesday forum, we have the debate session of the Internet in Mexico to discuss challenges and possible solutions in best practices and standards. Some of the issues we have included in the agenda have to do with problems that affect network operations and obstacles for the development of the Internet in Mexico, the analysis of interconnection for local operators in Mexico and the main cities, and the deployment of IPv6 barriers and challenges. The idea is to discuss with different stakeholders and identify joint actions with major community stakeholders that contribute to improving all the different aspects. Now, this event is not only about coming to technical talks and tutorials. This is an excellent opportunity for networking and to take home contacts. So we invite you to make the most of the social events where you can expand all these opportunities, the coffee breaks, the lunch, the trade show, LACNIC's stand where the LACNIC's, uh, the, the LACNIC's booth or our staff will be available day, then the Discord list and so on. And finally, let me tell you that all the activities that LACNIC organizes, are, we apply the code of conduct. This establishes the behavior, the framework for the behavior expected by all the participants in our activities and also describes behaviors that are unacceptable for our community. There's also a committee on ethics that interprets the code and if there are any reports, the response to this. And also we have trusted partners who are people of the community that collaborate with the response to certain situations that occur in situ and can provide guidance. These trusted partners have in their identity in their badges three pins. I will show you now which these are so that you can identify them.
When you registered to the event, you had to accept the code of conduct. But if you didn't read this in details, this is also available in their website. Some time ago, we had an update process for that document. We're updating at all times, so it is updated. Now we incorporated issues related to the appropriate use of the facilities and expanding the appeals for those accused, preventive suspensions of someone who is accused, and expanding the code of ethics. These are the people who are the trusted partners, the trusted representatives. Adriana Rivero, Ernesto Majo, Kevin Swift, Paula Mansi, Kevin is over there, and from the community we have Leah Solis, Mac Larson, who couldn't come, and Ricardo Patara, who I don't see here in the room, but you can identify him with these badges. And this is just to check the spaces that you can use for the purpose of interaction and networking throughout the event. You can follow this through streaming. We have simultaneous interpretation into three languages. If you need interpretation in, in a, to a different language from the one of the speaker, you can pick up your headset. There will be interaction virtually in the Q&A box. And we also have a networking space. We'll, on the right, you have a space with um, chairs where you can have informal meetings, the social media, you can download the welcome kit, and at LACNIC's booth, you'll have the staff who will be respond to any question, responding to any questions you might have. So this is the end of my presentation, and we have some time left in the case you have any questions or if you would like to make any comments, and otherwise you can address any member of our staff who are at your entire disposal. So thank you very much and enjoy the week. Thank you, Laura.